Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Fans Man. Alright, this one's from No Name, Mental Game. Hey Disc Golf Fans Man, tips on how to relax on the course. I feel like I'm getting worse, and it is entirely mental. I find myself avoiding players or playing with friends so I don't worry about my score as much, and I've been getting discouraged about playing altogether. No one wants to play with the frustrated guy, so between poor play and a poor attitude, my desire is fading. Please help. Um, Don't be that guy. Yeah. You control your attitude. If it is to be, it is up to me. Hey, that's a good one. You know where that's from? I, I've I've heard it. I don't know where it's uh, from. It's from Genesis, the health club. Oh, yeah, of course. Sega. If you went there more. Um, so, Dude, so what, I have the, been going there. <laughs> Just either. hush. So what do you what do you, what would you say to a guy is it's like, man, I just can't I just can't stay motivated. I can't be motivated. It's just and time to take a break. Well, and he said he avoids playing with friends because he gets so frustrated that like he doesn't want to be that guy. He walks around super frustrated. I don't know what you say. I mean, time to step back and, and have a appreci- appreciation for why you started playing in the first place, which I would assume is because it's fun. Yes. You enjoy your time out there. Don't. Try not to make it a uh, – for me, if I go out and I'm getting frustrated, I need to refocus on what I'm doing. Right. Like take some time off even and not play for a few days and then you know, appreciate it more, like miss it. Like, man, I miss going out and playing. Then go out and play. And don't set goals for yourself. Just go out and throw the disc. Don't worry about score. If you hit a tree, who cares? Like, I mean, it, it's tough to have that mindset going out and playing because – one, you're probably like much like me, a very competitive person, and you want to win everything that you do. Yes. So that does make it more of a challenge. But at the end of the day, if you know it's an issue, and you if you think your friends thinking it is an issue, it is an issue. There I agree. Um, I would say I'm kind of going through some of the same thing with golf right now, and I did obviously the same with disc golf <clears throat> uh, when I first started getting a little bit more serious about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's really easy to get frustrated when you know what you want the disc to do and it just doesn't do it and you're pissed. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I get that. Um, I, the things that helped me the most in disc golf were, one, I'm like you said, I'm getting to do something that I love. I, I really love playing disc golf. And so even if I'm playing poorly, man, there's a lot of other things I could be doing that are way worse than this. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of other things that I would enjoy less than this. So that's one thing. Um, two, I would I would try and just focus on um, something is some of the beauty of the place that I'm in, right? And so uh, I, I'm outdoors. We spend most of our time in the office right now, and to say, hey, I, I get to be outside. I get to do something that I enjoy on this beautiful day, just to kind of keep that sort of gratitude thing going through my head. That helped me a lot. And then the other thing, and this is like this is probably the most annoying of the three. Um, but when I would get in such a bad attitude that I could tell people didn't want to play with me or that I just didn't want to play with people, I would force myself to smile even just a little bit after every single shot. Even if I threw a bad shot, I'd force myself to smile just a little bit. And what that does is you're like, if you do that long enough, you're going to convince yourself that you're happy. It puts you in a better disposition. Um, like I said, it sounds super cheesy. I promise you the first few times I did it, I was like, this is stupid. I'm not going to do it. Um, but it helps a lot. Like even if I'm playing poorly, if I if I continue to be happy, if I continue to smile and enjoy my time out there, even if my score reflects otherwise, I'm enjoying my time. Now people are going to see you out at tournaments and you're going to smile and be like, oh, God, God, he's so was fake. That fake or was that real? <laughs> That's right. Well, at this point, like it's gotten to the point where I truly do enjoy that. And now I know like. Man, it's it's not worth getting really upset about a b- bad break or whatever. I just yeah, just kind of laugh it off. Um, I wouldn't say I'm there at golf. I'm I'm I get a lot more frustrated at golf because I think it's kind of a more frustrating sport. But um, yeah, now when I go out and play, like I really try to just keep good spirits on the course, even if I'm playing really poorly. Sure.